having my last cup of tea of the evening. I've just finished work and I'm back in the office and I'm going to do a quick um, questions and answers. Um, yeah, before I call it a day. Mm. Oh man, that's nice. <clears throat> okay, so we're getting lots of questions about um, septic tanks, whether they need to be decommissioned, repaired, or replaced. So let me, I'm giving you a typical scenario now where uh, many people who have got septic tanks find themselves in. All right, so if you're wondering what all this is, I'll uh, spell it out. This particular square box is a septic tank. Now, septic tanks obviously come in all shapes and sizes, but typically they are um, square or rectangular. Now, <clears throat> if you've just moved into a property and you've got one of the old brick-built septic tanks, then don't be quick to repair or replace it. A lot of the old brick-built septic tanks that were built, I don't know, early 1900s onwards, they are antiques. They're fantastic. And many of them, you know, are built to last 100, 2, 3, 400 years. And they're much better than any of the septic tanks around today. So how can you tell if your septic tank needs replacing? You know, if it's in a bad state of repair, well, um, if the subsidence, if the top of the septic tank has started to, you know, collapse and fall into the tank, if you lift the lid and look at uh, and get a strong, powerful torch, you lift the manhole chamber and look in with the torch light, if the um, sides of the walls still look, um, the render's still intact, the bricks are still looking, you know, like the day that they went in, the pointing between the bricks is still strong. It's, um, you know, and, and, and the integrity looks intact then, you know, it'll probably outlive you, probably outlive me, probably outlive our grandchildren, but, if there's loads of subsidence in there or, or some lots of the bricks have fallen out or, or, or the, the ceiling of the tank has started to collapse and it just looks like in a general state of disrepair, then, you know, it's pretty obvious, right? It's pretty obvious. It's not something you have to guess, right? And it's something that you can do yourself or, or when the tanker man's round, um, pay him an extra 10, 20 quid to, to lift the lid and just stick his head in and, and give his opinion at, at the mouth of two or three witnesses. So the point is, if you've got one of the old brick-built septic tanks, then don't be quick to replace it. Now, that leads us on to the next scenario. Many septic tanks in gardens um, automatically uh, have a soak away that goes into some kind of water course. All right, so if I put here, watercourse. Now, by watercourse, it could be a brook, it could be a stream, it could be a ditch, it could be a culvert, it could be anything like that. But the point being is, even if it's dry, we mean that at some time throughout the year, uh, water goes into there, there's a flow, and that water flows away to another point. That's what we mean by watercourse. And before <clears throat> pollution really became an issue, before they really understood what cholera is, or that by having the outlet pipe of a septic tank go into a ditch or a stream, I didn't really fully understand, you know, um, the knock-on effects um, where that infected, uh, polluted water, you know, could have on the neighbours in the town below or the village below. So, so you know, people didn't put in septic tanks and soak away 50 years ago. They weren't irresponsible. Knowledge that we're armed with today. So why am I mentioning all this? Because many septic tanks discharge into a water course. You've got your uh, septic tank here. 
or cesspit, whatever you want to call it. It could be a lot bigger than this. I've just done this for illustrative purposes. But nevertheless, the wastewater comes in. The wastewater being raw sewage, it fills up to this kind of level here. And then uh, it trickles out or flows out, you know, depending on the, um, <coughs> the, the relative water that's displaced. But the point being is it will leave the septic tank and then makes its way into a water course. Now, from the 1st of January 2020, any septic tanks that discharge into a water course will become illegal. And uh, these new rules and regulations are called the general binding rules. They're also known as the septic tank ban. And they're called the septic tank ban because the um, government representatives, they'll come round, they'll look at your septic tank, they want to know what kind of state it's in, what kind of maintenance you have, you carry out on your tank, how often you have it emptied, have you have it, ever had it repaired, if you've just bought the property, what did the owners prior to you, what was their kind of um, maintenance schedule, etc., etc. And they'll ask you to see um, a government compliance form to see if your septic tank's compliant. Now, the government compliance form is um, a topic for another day. But if you've never heard of a government compliance form and you don't have one, don't stress about it. Don't worry about it. Just go to septictank.co.uk in the top left hand corner of my website. You'll see how to make your septic tank legal and beat the septic tank ban. Click that, and there you can download a government compliance form free of charge. Won't cost you a penny. There's no catch. There's no con. Download yourself a couple of copies of the government compliance form. Lodge one with your solicitor. Put one in your kitchen, your, in your utility room. And, um, you know, when the new rules and regulations come into force on the 1st of Jan 2020, you'll be covered. All right. So coming back to this. So the government inspectors will come round that once they've ascertained the score about the, your septic tank, they'll then if, if it's discharging into a water course, they'll say, aha, under the new rules and legislation, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Such and such, that is illegal. We're going to give you seven to 14 days notice to rectify the situation. In that 14 days, you can get a firm in, and they will come and give you a quote. And the two options that the government officials will give you is that you've either got to repair or you've got to replace your septic tank. And the cost to do that, right, the cost to repair or replace your septic tank is going to cost you anywhere, and you probably know this already, anywhere from easily from like seven to 15,000 quid. And that is being very generous and liberal. It's, it's, if you've got a five, six, seven, eight, nine bedroom house, you can double that figure there easily. But those are the options that they'll give you. They'll say, right, Okay, so his notice is served, got two weeks. All right, so if that isn't, so then they come back in two weeks and you say, right, okay, we've got a company that's going to repair or replace it. They'll see the quotes, they'll say, fine, time scale, okay, it's going to be done by such and such, great. <clears throat> then they'll come back, check that the work's been done all well and good. That's one option, okay? That's one option you can do. And many firms that will come round will say, oh, wow, this is tired and it's worn and it needs replacing. And oh, my goodness me, yeah, I see why they've told you to repair or replace your system. Because don't forget, right, to replace and repair septic tanks is what these companies do for a living. So <laughs> not many of them are going to say, ah, listen, um, you know, keep your septic tank. And we'll just point the soak away over here. You know, we'll point it and put it in a different place. They don't make a lot, lot of money doing that. It's a lot of, lot of work for very little money. So I'm just telling you these things because if you're going to get a quote, get 
get it from two or three different people. Get one from um, get one from groundsman, and get one um, uh, in the yellow pages. I mean, people go on yellow pages now, don't they, or on Facebook or, or whatever to see different workmen. I mean, you can personally now, from what I know, I'd get a quote from a builder, I'd get a quote from a sewage consultant, and I'd get a quote from a septic tank installer because you'll get three different points of view. Now, myself, I'm a septic tank consultant, right? So I've been doing this 20 years, I'm independent. And if you can get independent uh, people out, even better, because they're not in the pay of uh, any particular uh, company. They'll generally charge you to come out and give you an assessment. So if this was me, I'd charge 300 quid, for argument's sake, I'd go out there and I'd look at it objectively. And sometimes the whole system may need replacing or repairing. But I'm going to give you a really, really amazing tip now. That is something for you to consider and it will save you, man, 15, 20,000 quid. If your septic tank is in good condition, whether it's fiberglass, whether it's plastic, whether it's bricks and mortar, then you're laughing because instead of having to repair or replace your septic tank, all you need to do is this. And it really is as simple as this, right? It really is as simple as what I'm about to show you. Get yourself a septic tank converter. I'll write that out for you, look. Um, I'll put it here. Get yourself a septic tank converter. Okay? Remember that word, septic tank converter. So what do I mean by septic tank converter? Well, it's a non-electric tank that goes in between a septic tank and the water course. Okay, so it goes in between the two. So a little box would go here, like so. It's a non electric box. And what happens is the liquid from the septic tank still comes from the house and it fills up the existing septic tank, but then this is the magic, right? And these are government approved systems. They come with an EN125-3 EN certificate, which means they're fully legal and approved by UK building regs and the government to go directly into water courses, right? And um, that, so let me show you what happens. Oops, I don't know why. I'm doing it in green. Now, if you're wondering why I'm doing it in purple today as well, it's because my black pen decided to stop working. Right, so this is called a septic tank converter. So they're non-electric. All right, so what happens is the septic tank here will fill up with wastewater, which is just raw sewage. That raw sewage will then go into the septic tank converter. It's treated and converted into safe, clean wastewater. And then that wastewater goes from there straight and can carry on straight into the water course. That septic tank converter, right, will cost you, I'm giving you a ballpark figure now. It can vary from, and depending on how many bedrooms you've got, but let's say this is a one to four bedroom property, right? So let's say you've got a, a one, let's say you've got a um, a one to four bedroom property, right? Bedroom property. You can get yourself a septic tank converter for something like 2999 
and your builder will put it in for 500 quid or a grand. So, so what I'm saying is for about five grand, something like that, maybe a slightly bit more, maybe a slightly bit less. So 4,000, if you find someone who knows what they're doing, six grand if you, if you get someone who's trying it on and, <laughs> and knows what they're doing, knows that you're desperate. All right, but the point being is, right, you'll save yourself. You will save yourself, right, easy, anywhere from two to 12,000 quid. Just by putting yourself in or getting someone to put in for you a septic tank converter. And uh, as I said, so they, they turn sewage waste into safe, clean water that can then legally discharge into any water course. So you can leave your tank there. The water course can stay there. Government official will come around. He'll say, OK, what did you do? You say you put a septic tank converter in. Oh, you go fantastic. Do you have a certificate? You'll say, yeah, no problem. You pull out your EM1266-3 certificate. You hand it to him. He's like, wow, sorted. And he's gone. So you won't get fined, 5, 10, 15 grand. You won't have to pay someone 7 to 15, 20,000 quid to put a whole new system in. Septic tank converter, right? So, if you want to make any donations, just make them to septictank.co.uk. No, only joking. The, um, the, the tips and advice is free, right? But that will save you thousands and thousands of pounds. So there you go. So that's my tip for the day. That's my broadcast for the day. I hope it's helped you. Um, I hope it helps you. If you need any more free advice, right on whatever septic tank converters septic tank smells sewage treatment plants whatever soak aways just visit septictank.co.uk and i'll help you i love helping people I've been helping people for 20 years I help the government environmental agency building control I help them all i love helping people okay find cost effective um solutions to what can seem like very complicated problems. So listen, thank you very much for watching my live broadcast tonight. That's it. I'm going to go now, but listen, I will catch you soon. All right. Speak soon. So, uh,